Hi, I'm Jonathan Wilson with Tabletop Props. Today I'm going to show you how to make an epic game board. What is an epic game board? This is a game board that you can play on at home that is way prettier than your stupid beige mat that you've probably been using and will cost you quite a bit less too. I'm going to show it to you for about $15 is what I spent today to get everything necessary. So, here is what an epic game board would look like when it is done. Pretty neat, huh? This is a forest background, of course. The best way to get this background that I have found is with this stuff here by Lamax. This is a landscape accent. During around Christmas time, Christmas Village, you can find this stuff rather nicely and it's pretty cheap, especially if you wait towards the end of the Christmas season and you get it for about 75% off. Usually this thing costs $13, I think I paid about three, and it's gonna give you a, two of them, we'll be able to cover this, and then give you quite a bit to spare. The one I'm gonna show you though, is how to make this guy, which is probably the most used in my collection. Simple gray. As you can see, there's some dry erase marks on there. The dry erase comes off rather nicely. And I have actually taken this one apart to be able to show you the inner mechanics of it, which is pretty simple. It's a picture frame. And then I put the uh, grid on the back and then I put detailing on the cardboard base of the picture. And it comes out looking pretty darn sweet. So how do we do it? Let me show you. So I went out to Goodwill today and got myself a picture. Look at this beauty. This is the Queen Mary tour out of Long Beach, California. It's gorgeous, isn't it? I don't care about the picture. I only want the frame. And when you're looking at frames, there's two things to realize here. Do you want glass or do you want plexiglass? A glass cover is going to dry erase and wet erase a lot easier than plexiglass is, but it is fragile. I've had players lean on a glass frame before and shatter it. That's not kind of not fun. And uh, the other thing is dice are kind of loud on it. So plexiglass is a little better in those respects, but today I chose glass because this was a great deal. Uh, Goodwill was asking about $14 for it, but 50% off sale put it down to seven bucks. First thing I want to do is turn it around backside. And I don't want any of this stuff on there. Sometimes you're going to be able to find the little clips that'll take it off. But what you want to do is go around cut it back to find those clips if they're not there. The other thing, don't want this metal wire on there. That'll scratch my table. So let's take all this apart. So I've taken the little wire thing off of my picture. I've gone around with my knife and taken the piece of paper off the back. And what do you see inside? Typical, every single picture is going to have some sort of a board that the uh, foam board usually that the picture is affixed to to keep it flat and holding this board in place you're gonna find little nails so the next step is to go around and pry each one of those nails up so that I can take that thing out get your screwdriver make it happen I've gone around and I've pried all the little nails up some of them will come out that's okay but try to keep as many of them in there because you're gonna use them again so once you've done that Go through with your screwdriver again and try to gently remove this little uh, poster board. You're going to want to keep that. If you rough up the edges, not that big a deal. You're not going to see it after you get done with it. Sticks to some of the nails. Voila! There is my Queen Mary picture. Gorgeous, huh? So, set that to the side. Be gentle. You're going to keep that. And inside, you're going to find back side of the glass. Here is where you're going to need, hopefully you have a T-square. That's going to make it a little bit easier. T-square? I actually bought this big one just for this stuff. These things aren't cheap, uh, probably 10, 12 bucks or something like that. But a simple yardstick will work also. Just be really careful that you're drawing your lines straight. That's where the T-square comes in handy. I found that it's a lot easier to take the glass out when you start drawing your grid rather than letting it, leaving it in there, but it's up to you. Um, so before I do that, I want to clean the glass because it looks a little bit foggy and uh, this is going to be permanent. Why do I put the grid on the back side of the glass? Because I'm going to be taking all sorts of cleaners and paper towels and everything to the top where I draw my maps. Okay? 
So let me get some cleaner and then I'll take the glass out, show you what we do next. So I've deconstructed my picture frame. I've got my poster board here. I've got the frame, the frame broke, not that big a deal, a little glue will take care of that. And I've got the glass. So I told you we were gonna draw the grid, but actually I wanna do this stage first because I want it to dry while I'm drawing the grid. The grid's easy to do, but it is a little time consuming, probably the most time consuming of this whole process. So set the frame to the side, set the glass to the side, get your poster board and lay it down. All right, so I deconstructed my picture. I have the picture frame, the glass, getting the grid on it, and uh, then I took the picture out, and I'll be completely honest, stage one didn't go so well. So I just got this poster board. You can find this for about a dollar at a dollar store. And uh, I'm gonna go for stage two. What did I do wrong? Well, I got this tube sand, and uh, it turned out to be just rocks. Lots and lots of rocks. And that was too heavy to stick to the glue. So number two is uh, just underway. And what I've done, I've got glue, and uh, this is about a uh, one part water to four part glue mixture, so it's still pretty, pretty viscous, as they'd say. And I'm gonna smear this entire board that I've made with this. And then I just went out and got some dirt from my yard, and I'm gonna cover the entire thing. That dirt has some sticks in there, it's got some rocks in there, got some uh, dead leaves in there, but it's gonna look killer when I'm all done. And I'm gonna pick anything out that I don't like before it dries completely. So, pour the glue on and then smear it around with a, a cheap little uh, paintbrush that you're not afraid to ruin. All right, the whole thing is glue coated. Now I'm just gonna pour this dirt right on top of there. I'm gonna leave this to dry for at least an hour. The next stage is going to dry the, to draw the grid. While that's drying, let's uh, start the process. And I like to use a silver sharpie. Here's your next about four dollar expenditure. A pack of two costs you about four bucks. Why do I use silver? Because most of the time I use a black dry erase. And I found if I have a black grid underneath, this thing doesn't show up near as well. All right, grab your T-square. If you don't have one of these, you're up to twenty-one dollars, or I guess twenty dollars, because you need to get at least a yardstick. Don't try doing this with a ruler. Get this T-square, line it up to the corner, and then you're going to go around and make little tick marks at one inch increments, or whatever your scale is. I don't know that there's any scales other than one inch, but that's what D&D &D is, so that's what I use. And I'm just going to put a smallish dot right around the edge of the whole thing. Okay, so I've gone around to the edges and I've made a little dot. You probably can't see that. Let me lift up the poster board too. See that little dot around all the edges? I can line up the T-square and make sure that that little dot is gonna line up perfectly with the dot on the other side because I wanna make sure that I have perfect right angles across my entire grid. Now that that's done, I need to start drawing the grid first Let's go back outside and see if my glue is dry yet. Okay, so I covered it with glue, I uh, covered it with dirt, and uh, let it dry for a couple hours. Now I'm gonna tap it off gently and see what's stuck. I put a tarp underneath because I wanna save most of this dirt, so, because uh, I'll probably have to do a second coat, but we'll see. pretty good. All right, so all those little uh, white spots that you see, I'm gonna go back through with my dirt, cover those back up, and make it look good again. Went over it with my paintbrush, put the glue on, covered it again with dirt, and now we let it wait for a little while longer. Drawing 
building this grid is the most tedious part of all. It's not difficult, but it is a little bit meticulous. And so just kind of sit back, put some tunes on, and uh, be patient. Two key things to keep in mind is if you use the marker and you draw a quick line, it generally comes out a little thin. And then if you draw a slow line, it comes out a little thick. So it's up to you what style you want, but I would try to remain consistent through the whole process so that you don't have some thick and some thin lines. Even if you do, even if you have to stop halfway and then resume the other part for some reason, it'll show a little imperfection, but once the whole board is done, you barely notice it at all. All right, let's make it happen. Oh, just remembered one other thing. I started on the bottom and I was planning on working my way up. I found that the Sharpie ink is still a little bit uh, wet. And if you do that, you're gonna see some streaking. So start on the other side and work towards yourself to keep that from happening. Okay, so what do we got? Got a pretty sweet looking grid. That's what we've got. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Okay, so here's the exciting part. I took the glass and put the glass into the frame, as you can see and uh, made sure that the glass is going to be, or the ink from the Sharpie is going to be facing this way. So that way that whenever I wipe the bottom side of this glass and wipe the dry erase off, I'm never actually wiping away any of that Sharpie marker. That's a very important step. So here's the exciting spot. As you can see, I've got my awesome game board here and it's uh, pretty solid, I'll admit. Notice how straight it is here? It had bowed at first. The glue will often do that because the glue is a little bit wet, and so your board may bow. So once it was dry, I set it face down in my garage, and then I put some water on the back side of it just with a towel, and then put something heavy on it, and I let it dry overnight. And uh, now, the fun stage. So let's look at it. You ready? That is pretty sweet. That is an epic game board. Alright, so this is it. This is the epic game board. Thank you for watching. And I just wanted to show you that it is completely wet and dry erasable. Pretty simple to quickly draw your maps. Draw new. Check out my Kickstarter, Tabletop Props. Look forward to seeing your support.